Hello my friends, it's Keith from KMA's Corner and how are you doing today? We are starting episode number 38 of my KMA's Jams! 38! I think this is the longest I've ever gone in a series. No, actually it's not. Sorry, I take that back. I doubled this easily in the series. I forgot about a series I did a long time ago. But honestly, it wasn't that great a series, so we'll just forget that existed. Um, I'm having a little trouble what to uh, do in this episode, um, so I come to my wall of awesomeness, and let's take a look what it says. Let's see. Um, we'll go over this again. Create main storage system, which is also part of the uh, super secret project here. Um, guess what? I have 12 weeks to finish it. Uh, the storage system itself is done, and I will say it is the biggest building I have ever made in Minecraft. Ever. And vanilla or creative, actually. So, that is done bigger than any other project I've ever done. Bigger, 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 bigger. Um, the storage system itself is not in there. I haven't decided where and how I'm going to put the storage system in there. But the building itself is done. Finished super secret project. And part of the super secret project is the... I hate to say it this way. Is the kingdom around the storage system. But it's really not a kingdom. Basically it is a big... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, terraforming... Uh, I don't know how to say it. I got a lot of... We, around this building is a wall basically and I gotta build that wall and it will be the biggest wall I've ever built in Minecraft and uh, yeah it's it's a big 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 wall <laughs> so we can't do that in this episode because as you see right there it says super secret super secret that means no on the um, no on these videos. No super secret project in these videos. I was thinking of doing the super secret project on stream and I did in the past and I deleted the VOD and nobody really saw it so it doesn't really matter. It's still super secret. Super secret. Okay. So finished nether tunnels. I have actually finished all the tunnels except for... This isn't the nether is it? <laughs> except for one. And that one, I'm not going to do it in this episode because I just was doing a ton of work on the nether tunnels. And I have spent like 10-15 uh, hours of real life time in the nether. And, you know, no more nether for me. Finished tree farm part 2, which is what um, I was working on a couple episodes ago. But I'm having a hard time coming up with the design of the second part of the building. I have no idea what I'm going to do there. Um, I do have a couple ideas, but I don't know how it's going to work with the other buildings. So I'm kind of like pushing that away because I'm like, ah, I don't know if I want to do that. Make float an island around Sky Spawner. Hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty easy project. I'm going to throw a house um, where I can sleep and stuff on top of the Sky Island. And I'll have like a basement where I can go to this to the spawners itself um, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say sky spawner um, think of mumbo jumbo's base and in the middle of the base he has this thing up in the air where moms fall out of I made one of those eight months ago or so on this whenever I started the series it was one of my first projects and mobs fall out of it and they go splat and I collect their stuff and instead of just having this floating thing in the middle of the world I'm gonna make it into a big floating island have a waterfall coming off have a little house on it you know and the style of like Wells Night you know with the weird roofs and stuff the roof is is but I don't really want to do that today because that's both mostly spamming blocks and making something that isn't there and I don't really want to do that this one is coming close to being the one I want to do. Make squid farm in the desert. Pretty easy. Um, need to go get my haste beacon and dig a hole. That's great for video. Okay. Make golem farm tower. 
as you see i uh made a video of making that tower but this tower is so confusing and so disturbingly tough it's the toughest thing i've made that um i can't really go i'm basically doing math in my head the whole time while i'm making it and it's like okay so 12 minus 12, 20 plus 4 and then I got to get this, and that means that this block will be a stair. Search for all elytra. I spent six hours, about two days ago, searching more in the end, looking for other elytras and other end cities. And I went thousands of blocks and didn't find any other than the two that I initially came up with with one ship, so one elytra. Um, if I do lose my elytra in real life, I will... Um, I will go immediately find another one, but I've had enough of the end also. Make mine look better. That's this. Basically, I haven't dug that way yet. But uh, you see where the torches are. Those are completed mines all the way down there. Um, don't really have a design for that either. I mean, it's gonna, it's like a 250 block thing. And it should probably only take me an hour or two to do something there. I don't really know what I'm going to do there either. Let's see. Um, Ender Farm. Enderman Farm. I just said I wasn't going to spend any more time in the nether. So, uh, sorry. Crate Villager Supermarket. Hmm. That might be something. But, um, I got to look into moving villagers again because I don't really feel like, um, throwing them in boats and rowing them everywhere. And where I have them now, I can't really tear out the ceiling to make the proper way to get them into carts. So we'll see about that one. Let's see. Uh, have a shit ton of fun. Just in case I get cranky. Figure out what to do with old farmland. That's where the 100 subscriber thing is. Yes, yes. I actually made it up to 103 subscribers. But then YouTube took away three of the subscribers. So I'm actually sitting right at 100 again. Which is fine. Um... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add one here because I saw a picture and a lot of time pictures um, give me ideas. And this is the the muddy swamp project. Um, I saw this <clears throat> animation of a fake house that looked really creepy. And it was in the swamp, and I kind of want to create that. So I got to find a big swamp area to create that for you guys. Yeah. I like just punching walls. I don't know. Oh. Come on. Punch, 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 punch. As you see, I don't really have any clue to what I'm going to do today. I had the glasses be informed. That's good news. Where is this cat? Um... The smelter is great, but there's a problem with it. Um, shush. Oh, that's what I was going to show you. Um, let me let me show you the quick problem with the smelter, and then I will uh, go over this mob somewhere. Oh, I can't even reach them. Above, there's, there's uh, glad, redstone on top of this. Maybe... Is there anything in there? No. Maybe I can get up on top. I'm not going to do it there. Do I have any blocks on me? Aha! Uh -huh. Dirt! Just what I needed! Just what I needed! Okay. So. There. Oh, because of these stupid hoppers, I can't look into these ones. But anyways. Hoppers have how many uh, places that you can stick stuff? Five. Okay. So what happens when I throw materials in here, <clears throat> there's a hopper above this that gives the um, the furnaces the valuables to cook. And there's five slots, so I may throw in five different things over there, so there's five slots. One will be glass one or sand, one will be like, I don't know, um, nether brick, uh, another one will, whatever, doesn't matter. Five different things in there. But if it's already working on potatoes or something, it's not going to add in uh, red nether brick until the, all the potatoes are done. So, but when I... But when, 
But when the stuff is fed in, the redstone links turn off or turn uh, lock the hopper. So if I throw in a whole bunch of potatoes and a whole bunch of sand in here, the potatoes may get done, but the sand may get stuck in the hopper. And if I were to take away this block, there's a hopper behind it, and I imagine there's a crap ton of stuff in there. Because this last thing I wanted to, um, I wanted to craft or burn up a whole bunch of sand so I can get some glass to show you what I'm about to show you in a second. And I get out, um, this. I haven't put cactus in this thing in over a month, but somehow a stack and a half of cactus got stuck somewhere. So, yeah, it's a great smelter, but, um... I don't know. It needs work. Ah, I hate that. So, let's go to the end. And I'll show you something real cool. I like these tunnels because that glowstone almost looks like an eye. It's following me. Oh, no. He's coming to get me. He's staring at me. Stop looking at me. Stop it. In the end. You can throw ender crystals here and respawn the dragon. But what I had done, um, and each time you kill a dragon, you get one of those. And that's what I'm going to be talking about real quick. Um, but here, I just wanted to show you again. Tower gone, 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 tower gone. These two towers is all that's left from uh, getting the product for the super secret project. So I actually am done getting the obsidian that I've been bitching about for so long. And when I say tower gone, I don't mean just like down to the ground. I mean all the way gone. So again, lots of obsidian made in that building. About 30,000, I think. But anyways... Enough of bragging about my super secret project that's not that big a deal. It's only a building and a wall and a kingdom. They'll get done someday. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't know this, uh, when you go through, it will pick the highest spot and close to within a certain amount of blocks of the portal itself. So it would always stick me on the edge of my wall here because I made this wall, pretend this glass is uh, end brick or whatever, and it would always stick me on the corner. And it's like, why am I spawning right on the corner? But I've learned if you change this all out to glass for a certain amount of area around the, the portal itself, it will spawn you on the brick right here. And which makes life a lot simpler. So when I go through, I'm like right on the edge here. Ah, I'm going to fall off. And luckily there's no void here. But now that I uh, changed out the other side to all glass, except for that one block that is an end brick, I'll always spawn on that end brick. See? So through, through. So I suggest um, if you make these platforms up to the top here and um, go through, you know, make a platform up here, make it glass. I know it's kind of scary to look down into the void, but and stick one uh, where you want to spawn of normal block. It could be anything. I just chose end brick because we're in the end. It can be whatever you want. It can be gravel with a block underneath it, I guess. It could be sand. It can. Okay, let's. Let's pick something that doesn't fall, because that would suck. Um, it could be cobblestone. It doesn't have to be end brick. So, that's basically what I wanted to show you. Um, it's a good idea to do if you are unsure of... You gotta be kidding me, sir. If you just want to uh, go through the tunnel. Okay, good. For a second, I was going to like, oh, please don't spawn at the super secret project. <laughs> but um, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do in this episode and uh, do it. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, I have um, 
decided I am doing something actually in this episode. So let's <laughs> let's go do something. I need to get some bones. Um, and the reason why I need to get some bones is for um for the bone blocks. I I want some bone blocks. Since the last uh, little section that I recorded, I um, started working on an area. You remember the green eyeball thing that Tinfoil Chef had made from Hermitcraft 3? That is all gone. I had taken that down and I have made a building and I decided that my accent block is going to be the bone block. So I am going to... Oh, I did make stables over here. Excellent. I am going to make... Uh, see how many bones I have down here. Yeah. This is my... Um, what do we call this? My wither skull area, which I'm going to expand and make a little bit better. I'm not doing the shelving system over here, but I'm going to just do the run around and kill wither system. And uh, I want to have a whole bunch of, and it looks like I emptied these bones already. So that was a wasted trip. I do have bones someplace else. Um, I guess I go through a ton of bones. So we will go to the top of this ladder and I'm going to go to the other place. So let me speed this up a little bit. So I'm at the Sky Spawner, which is the thing I tell tell you about that um, Mumbo has above his place. Mine's a different design than his, but works just as well. Probably better because this is not on a server. So we have some bounds. All right, so let me show you what I've made. And uh, with the bone blocks, I am going to replace what I have in sandstone with these blocks. But you can kind of see what I'm working on over there. So I told you I took down the big green eye. What is up with all the creepers out here? Last time I slept a night away in there, I um, came out and there were six creepers and I think seven or eight spiders out here. And there's even a creeper like right in there. Let me just uh, show you what I mean. Yeah, and I can't shoot him. I got a window in front of him. So there's a nice creeper waiting for me. Yeah, you're not actually going to attack me, guy. You are. Usually during the day when I look at you, you ignore me. Hi, creeper. Hi. Hi. So let's get in here and wait a second. Is this place not good enough for both of us? Oops. Can't tell now if I hit the guy. Did you despawn? Oh, why are you going to hang out at my new build? I'm still trying to figure out how I want this built. What, did he just disappear? Real... Really, guy? No, no, no. I should be able to shoot in between there. Maybe not. <sighs> Frickin' creepers! Now where did he go? Will you stop creeping? Okay. What a bunch of bullocky... What? Now somebody's trying to shoot me? I hear you. I think I just saw you. Ah! Stupid. Hey! Enough of that! I'm gonna have to do some adventure... Adventure some editing there. 
Okay, so yes, um, I've decided to make an a place to hold my um, villagers. This will be where my villagers are going to hang out, and I'm going to trade with them. Um, it's right up against the wall here, and so I, you know. I don't really need windows, so it would be a great place to just line up the villagers here and just have a huge breeding area. Maybe a place to put a whole bunch of chests. This will be a doorway. I'll put stairs here so you can go through this and just hang out here. I mean, it's it's a cozy little thing. Um, it's based after something, but I won't tell you what it's based after yet. It's not an exact, like, I'm, I've, uh design the thing but it's based on a building I guess I should say so I was thinking no no I don't want the bone blocks to go like that do I have to put something behind them to place them properly let me see yeah I guess I do so let's place something behind these guys uh, what do I have on me that's good to place behind get away So let's go like this. <laughs> oh my lord. Let's see what it looks like from a distance. Yeah, I think the uh, boom, <laughs> the bone blocks look much better. It is a weird design, and I wish there was a... I know there's birch, but I wish there was a better um, colored fence I could use. Yeah, um, I think the bone... I think the bone blocks look much better. Um, so I'm going to replace at least all the stuff in the front with bone blocks and ones where there's just one I'm gonna face them out and the ones with the pillars like this I'll just uh, you know replace kinda like this so you have just rambled into what we're gonna do next um, episode we're gonna finish off this building possibly um, move the villagers that I have in there over into here and set them up in a certain way that it's understandable which one is what and um then I'm gonna you know have to finish the building put a roof on it somehow the roof is supposed to be a thatched roof and I don't know how to do a thatched roof in Minecraft so and it's gonna look stupid with the hay bales so I'm not gonna do um that roof on this so we'll figure out something um, but yeah this is gonna be my resident bar and grill and so that's what we're gonna do next episode so I should stop working on this now because then it will be two episodes in one in this video I know is super long super talky not much was done other than this building <coughs> Which I guess is a fair amount. It took me a couple hours to figure this out. It actually took me a long time to tear down that eye. That eye was bigger than I thought. But, hopefully it will be replaced with this. And, oop, let me uh, turn around real quick and show you something that I think is kind of interesting with this build. Is that over here, there will be a, a, a um, doorway. And there's going to be a tunnel back here. This is going to be the dark tunnel. And at some point, I'm going to tunnel through this, going that way, uh, to go underneath my sheep farm. Because part of my view of the sheep farm is going to be disrespected. And I actually don't know how much of the front of the sheep farm I had to cut out to make this work. So this could be kind of scary. But I'm going to have a tunnel going underneath the sheep farm to... 
the other side through that at little dark alleyway because the building I'm building actually had a little dark alleyway in the background on the back side I should say and it will come out like over here the tunnel so I can just run through the mountain basically and have it as kind of like a secret access kind of like the one I have in R2D2 um, yeah but I think I think this is gonna work um, I just hope it looks really good from up here so again have a great day sorry it's kind of rambling this morning um, and I'll see you in the next episode okay my damns for the win right Another few more episodes and I get to show you my super secret project. Looking forward to that. Have a great day. Goodbye.